What's going on guys? Alex with the Game Changers here. Today we're doing a different type of video. We are unwrapping some Pokemon card packs. We're also going to weigh them to see if specific weights will equate to really specific rare type of cards. So let's see what happens. Let's see if we bought lucky and get some nice pulls. If you like this video, let us know in the comments and be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we really appreciate it. So we got some boosters, some Sun and Moon team up, and then one Sun and Moon Unbroken Bonds. And what we're testing out today is to see if there's a difference in weight. And then we're gonna open the packs and find out if we were right, if the heavier packs have anything like a GX card or a full art card. So this is just something we wanted to try out. Um, I, I watch a lot of videos of people doing this and it sounds super fun to me. So uh, we have our little weight here. It's in grams. So let's do the first one. So this is 21.4. Okay, we're just gonna weigh them all first. First one is 21.4. Second is 21.6. This is 21.6, same exact weight, so let's see if that does anything. And then 21.7, okay? So this is the heaviest pack so far, this Sun and Moon Unbroken Bonds. It's a different set, so let's see if that's any different. But let's open the lightest one so we know if there's any... Ooh, I just destroyed this pack. <laughs> All right, you got a code card. Is it one, two, three? Yeah. One, two, three, to the front. All right, I haven't seen any of these cards before, so this is an exciting thing for me. Is it, oh, look at that, Tauros, look, he yeah, looks fierce. Let's go. Yeah, Toro Cat, oh, that's awesome. Joltik. Blitzel, that's cool. Oh, that oh, Squirtle's cute, he's a fatso, that's adorable. <laughs> he's getting happy. Yeah. Uh, Tentacool, that's a good one. Harris. Oh, there's a Reverse Hollow Kakuna. Okay, I love the uh, leaves in the back. It's pretty sweet. And then this is our rare. Right, so, yep, yeah, no hollow. Just, it looks pretty freaking angry. So now we got a... Oh, snap. Dude, I like those new energies. Yeah, that's cool. nice. So that's that. This was our lightest pack. So let's find out what our two slightly heavier packs are, and if there's any change in that at all. I'm guessing there won't be, because it's like 0.1 grams, so I don't think that's enough to do anything. Uh, three. Oh, look at that dew blade. Man, look at the artwork in this says pretty fire. Whoa, Tentacruel. All the coral in the back, that's awesome. All right, a <laughs> return label. Vulpix. That looks like some really throwback art, doesn't it, Tom? Yeah, it's like some like 90s. First gen. Yeah. Joltik again. Blitzel, saw that. The Squirtle again. Tentacool again. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, Reverse Hollow Grimer. That looks like um, Gen 1 type of artwork as well. All right, here is a dark, okay. It's a dark rare. It's not Reverse Hollow. It's a hollow rare. No. It is not. Oh, interesting. Wow, this, we're s not too happy with this. Mandibuzz, the artwork looks cool, but this is a uh, freaking out on yeah, that. weak sauce. So <clears throat> let's really hope that the Unbroken Bonds pack has something. And this has the exact same weight as our last pack, so let's see if there's any anything uh, useful in that. Probably not, though. I saw Unlisted Leaf had 22 point something grams. Yeah. So we haven't really hit that, so I wonder if yeah, that's the difference that we're looking for. But anyways, okay, let's we'll see what's up. This is a dragon air, a dragon type. Very cool. I love the artwork on that. An unidentified fossil. A rapid dash. That looks like fan art type of Pokemon card. I like it. Um, Puchaina. This, I, I don't like that. No, I don't like all these just like it almost just looks, clip art type of Pokemon Yeah, this artwork. one's... Right? 
I, I hate this one actually. No, See, this is completely different. This is like really nice. It's really great. Look at it. It's so unique. I love that. That's cool. All right, and a pan gem. That's kind of interesting in like the real world, and it's like a 3D model kind of thing. Let's See, see. there's another one. There's just you know generic type of Pokemon against a semi interesting background. All right, I skipped ahead there. Uh, Cleft King, pretty cool. Whoa, oh, really? there's another Squirtle in this pet in this set. It's a reverse hollow. I think we're striking out. I not hollow in the reverse. Oh, it's a hollow. It is a hollow. Okay, okay. so interesting. So this is an Amistar. Not I'm blown away by that card, but it, it's cool. Yeah, and then oh, steel energy. That's cool. Nice. I like the design of that. Okay, so. Getting a little disappointed on these, but this is our heaviest pack. So let's see, let's see what comes out of this one. And this is a different set. This is the Unbroken Bonds. Um, kind of messes up the control test that we're doing here, but right. hopefully I'm getting something good in this guy. This one's just not easy to open. Card. All right. Let's see, is there anything bending at all, warping? I mean that, but that's definitely not our rare. So let's see. So. Dodrio. Metapod. That's interesting. Hero. Okay. Hero. Yeah, that's cool. Litten. That's pretty nice. Tangela. Oh, look at that. It's wow. a Yoshi's Woolly World type of vibe. Yeah, that. that's fun. My kid. Or Wooper, oh, sorry. Wait, Wait a second. second. So this is a reverse hollow rare. So Wooper... Oh my god, I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> that is <That's> terrible. <laughs> that is terrifying to look at. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with this card. Geez, Al, that's not a nice thing There's to see. Another rare, though. It's not a nice Look, thing to see. We have two rares in this. Okay, pack, that could so. be good. But Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Hit or miss. Oh, Incineroar. Dude, you gotta give this a look. Yeah, without a doubt. I think he has this exact card though, but oh, really? I've never gotten him a pack of this. So maybe you got it in one of the, you know, the big sets. But. Sweet. Is it red? Or is it hollow though? No, it's not. Oh, so. Alright. Interesting. But this. Fuck. What does it even do? <laughs> <laughs> this. Uh, so 100 for Steamroller. This attack's damage isn't affected by resistance. So it's good. That's, that's great. And it doesn't cost much. This attack does 20 less damage for each colorless energy in your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost. Okay. Ugh. So, heavier Pokemon, it does less to, is that right? Yeah. Incineroar, Flamethrower, discard and energy from this Pokemon. That's cool. Alright guys, so we learned something. Uh, we didn't get any GX or any full arts or anything blown away. Maybe in that 22 gram range is where that's at. So, uh, if you like this video, let us know. Uh, maybe we'll do more, but uh, this was a lot of fun for me and Tom and our friend Jess is in the background. So thanks everybody for watching this.